Hi y'all. Today we're going to make some homemade vanilla extract. It is really just so simple. All you need is some vanilla bean and some vodka. But I'm just going to add a couple of ideas. First of all, it's too late to make vanilla for Christmas. It needs a minimum of eight weeks. To use it for baking, you really should wait six to 12 months. But now is the time you can start thinking about it and start saving your glass containers, like maybe a, a maple syrup bottle or a dressing bottle or honey is great. And all you're going to do is slice some vanilla beans down the middle, put them in the jar and cover them with vodka and let them sit. You can shake them once in a while if you like. If you're going to use it for yourself, after the six to 12 months, you can pour the vanilla off the beans and reuse the beans, but they're only 50% potency at that point. So someone gave me a nice brown bottle that I could transfer all my vanilla into to save and keep on my shelf. But I had an idea for gift giving. If I wanted to put them in smaller bottles, I was out looking at bottles and just the right size and I had a really great idea. What if I just bought small vodka bottles? I could put the vanilla beans right in here and let them sit on my shelf 12 months and then by next Christmas, they would be ready for gift giving. Or, what I'm going to do today is I can pour this vodka off and use it to make a new batch of vanilla and then pour my ready vanilla into these little bottles to give. One more idea. If you were to give someone a small bottle of vodka, about eight beans to go with it and the instructions then you're giving someone a skill. They could make their own vanilla extract at home and uh, have a nice gift as well. Just some thoughts. I'll go ahead and show you how to make vanilla extract at home. The gift giving is up to you. First things first. I'm going to empty out some of these vodka bottles. These are 200 milliliters. It comes to just a little over six ounces each. The rule for vanilla beans is eight to 10 per eight ounces. So you can say one per ounce, depending on size. Give it a little shake. I made this on July 10th. So it is only um, five months old. Let's see how we do. So now we'll get our beans ready. I have organic. Madagascar vanilla beans. There's different varieties out there. You can decide what's best for you. Uh, the Madagascar was recommended. I have a 20 ounce jar. So I'm gonna do about one bean per ounce. So this is what the vanilla beans look like. They are um, actually beans. When you cut into them, you're gonna see uh, the actual little vanilla beans. So you're going to take a sharp knife and cut a slit. That enables the vodka to get down inside and extract the flavor from the actual beans. You do not need to open each one up. I'm just showing you what it looks like inside. That's the vanilla inside. So I'm gonna take this slit one and put it in here. 
I'm going to do about 18 to 20 of these beans. I'm not cutting them all the way through. I'm just cutting a slit in one side to expose the, uh, the vanilla inside the pod. Okay, with these last four beans, I'm gonna put one inside each of these bottles, but I'm not going to stand it up because as they use the extract, it will become exposed. So I'm gonna slice it so it lays on the bottom so it won't be exposed until they're actually to the bottom of the bottle. But um, one, it's just nice, it makes it more authentic. Uh, but two, this is only five months old and maybe it'll add a little extra richness to the vanilla. So I have one bean, but I'm gonna cut it in thirds. I'm gonna put that in there and it should lay on the bottom of the bottle. Do that for each one. These are the beans that I already sliced. I put in my honey jar and I am just going to cover them with vodka. Make sure they're submerged. I have enough in there for about 20 ounces. This is a 20 ounce jar. Next thing I need to do is just label it and let it sit on the shelf about six months and it'll come out this color. So this is what we ended up with from our little project today. All the vanilla I had left that I had already made is here. Two new batches with the used beans are here. They'll sit on the shelf for another six months. The gifts I made labeled for the wedding. A new batch with new beans ready to go and dated so I know when the time is up. And a little fun project with cinnamon stick for cinnamon extract. I'd say this was a lovely little project. And I hope it's something you all get a chance to try. Best to you.